Next up is Lao Chi Kin, a traveling and photography enthusiast who gained vast experience in social marketing whilst working in a post production company. A flashing flicker motivated Lao when he saw a gap in the market of sightseeing photography. This idea of uh, phototripdate.com is actually based on an idea where I was a photographer, but I do not have any um, places where I can refer to for a nice location to go to. So, besides going through the net and going through the magazines and looking for the, uh, for the site, so I come up with the idea of finding my sites my, myself, finding this location myself where I can go on for this uh, trip. Um, my site is actually different from a lot of other travel sites and a lot of other photographer sites. Photographer sites might be posting pictures that have been taken, but I am promoting the location itself where you yourself can come and shoot yourself. And also, other photographers, um, other travel sites are selling actually packages on where you can go to. What I'm offering to is not selling the packages, what I'm offering is a chance for you to work with existing photographers who would like to come to all these locations to come for a shoot itself. Will the judges see the big picture envisioned by Lao Chi Kin? Find out what develops on my EG Make the Pitch in a few flashes. Hello and welcome back to Make the Pitch, brought to you by MyEG and EZ by RHB. Now before the commercial break, we heard from a company and their hopes in achieving sustainable moving and also an engineer's approach to decluttering your house of remotes. Now it's time to hear from a photographer and his pitch to fill in the gap in the market of destination tourism. Lao Chi Kin is currently collaborating with local travel agents as well as global tour operators to zoom in on photogenic locations around Malaysia in an income-generating website called phototripdate.com. It's very, exci uh, very exciting. I've been waiting uh, the whole day for this. I hope this is going to be a good one. I am hoping uh, I do not forget what I intend to say so let's hope for the best I improved the website quite a lot with more contents and I tried to um, source out for more context so here I hope that uh, with the preparation that I made I can, develop, uh, I can be able to convince the judges for more uh, about my project my chances I would I wouldn't say it's slim I say that it's hopeful what I intend to do is I do not I do not give up on what is being told to me today. So let's hope that uh, for the best. My name is Chikin. I'm from phototripdate.com. Here's a short video of my website. Basically, this is a short introduction of what uh, my website is all about. My website, phototripdate.com, is basically a website to, uh, for photographers and tourists who would like to come to Malaysia and to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Malaysia. So, in this website, we have uh, locations and also a compound of uh, schedules in, uh, of events happening in Malaysia. So, what I have is um, I can organize the trips for this um, tourists or photograph enthusiasts to come here for a photo, uh, we call it a photo tourism. 
So um, the website is actually a front for me to do a bigger things, which is, for example, to branch out into uh, doing um, like a location recce for film locations. Um, f for in Malaysia, we have a lot of exotic locations which is worthy of being Hollywood or even Bollywood production locations. So these websites showcase all the beautiful sceneries of Malaysia and here I can work together with uh, the people who I've been in contact with to help these people to promote Malaysia as part of the world destination for filming and photography. B before you teach other people how to earn money, how, how, how does your business earn money? My business earns money from uh, being affiliating marketing. We have e-books, we have um, to organizing trips. So these are the main three things that I'm working on as uh, generating money income from my side. So one of the other one would be affiliating ma um, marketing to other segments, uh, to other segments on how to link up photography and travel together uh, in a way to earn money. Would it be fair to say that uh, you're actually a, a travel agency? I'm uh, not in a, a way that specializes in uh, photo tourism, if you like. Um, essentially, I'm not a travel agent. Oh. I'm just a film and animation student, which I find it. Uh, I was a film and animation student, which I find that the interest in film and photography translate back into how I can earn money. Yeah, and but, how but you're organizing money. tours. That's yes. That's uh, a travel agent's. That's a travel agent's part of road, but the, uh, I have been in discussion with a few travel agents, but what they have in mind is I'll bring you to places, the normal places where people can shop and go to as a current famous locations around. But there are a lot of places in Malaysia which even us as individuals have not been to. The, all the exotic and hard to go to places which have not been um, in translated to around us as tourist locations. How do we know your photographs are good enough to entice people to buy the ebook? Um, the photograph I have photograph on I mean on my site as well to to show that these are the uh, photographs that has been done by me over there. You sure, but how do we know it's good enough to monetize? I have photographs on my blog as well, but I can't sell those photographs. How so do we know that your photographs are good enough to be ma to be monetized? Um, yes, that's why what I have, uh, what I meant was, yes, my pictures might not be world class. I might not be a world class photographer, but you can use this platform to go to these places and make money from your site. What I'm doing is I'm organizing a tour to guide you to uh, to do your own uh, money making uh, business through photography. So what you're I saying, go to these places, take photographs, and you will be able to sell those photographs. Is, is that your proposition? In a way, yes. But uh, the photographs are taken by the people that you bring. Are they obliged to give you those photographs? Of course, I'll be there as well and also be taking part of it as one of my collection as well. From what little I know of uh, mm -hmm. photograph uh, enthusiasts, yeah. um, they tend to be a, a, a small grouping that actually um, um, travels together yes. you know, and they do it uh, free of charge yes you know it is, is a sharing so how, how do you actually charge people for this for something that they're currently doing on a sharing basis for free okay at the moment i already tied up with a for um with a travel agent which is bringing in people from india so they are what my target is is photograph enthusiasts but they are not from malaysia they are from other countries talking about making money mm, but yes how much money would you make from that i mean i don't think you will get a lot uh, for the, as a front, yes, the organ organization of the trip might not be the main source of income. So that's why I have the um, the ebooks and the affiliating marketing from the site itself. So it's not purely uh, what you call it a blogging site uh, where most people will just blog uh, of their where they have gone through and all these things. So I'm going to the extra mile to find out uh, to get all these sources on how to actually. Uh, people who like all these things, how they can actually earn the money when they do this blogging or travel blog back at their own site. So how much have you sold so far? So far, I have not sold anything yet. How many trips? I have not organized any trip yet, but it's, uh, we have in plan with this tour operator. We are uh, planning the entire agenda and general schedule for it. So how much money, how much funding are you looking for and what is it for? I'm actually looking funding for about 50k. 
most of it is for uh, content creation and for um, travel for to all these places to look for all these uh, locations and also as well as um, to get the ebooks running we we'll need some time to to write it out and all these things don't you think you should start off as a a blog first and then look at how you know your blog is received would you have many people following you because you're starting out of mm. the blue um, so i i think uh, at the end of the day the question is why would people pick you mm. if they go to a, a website why what what would be a, a compelling reason to go for this mm. okay i've thought of that too because over the years uh, over the past two years i've been in photography i have been taking around uh, a lot of pictures so i see that as a portfolio to start off with so I already existingly have a portfolio of what I've shot. What I've shot. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay. Thank you. So how do you think the pitch went? Well, I think it went disastrous or it went um, educational mm -hmm. for me because what I see is they are trying to uh, point out all the mistakes that I have to me and. Uh, things that I have not take, uh, taken into consideration. So actually some of those I have already taken into consideration but um, what I guess is they are business minded and they are not photographers in general. So their point might not hit the photographer's in, uh, intention. So what I see is from what I think is maybe the photographers will understand more from what I, th uh, what I say more than the judges what they, what they think that they are saying about.